bringing you the news and information you need from the people making a difference. This is Comcast Newsmakers. Hello and thanks for joining us. I'm Jill Horner. This is Comcast Newsmakers Campaign 2004. This hour's newsmaker is Edward Fortune, U.S. Marijuana Party candidate for United States Congress in New Jersey's 3rd Congressional District. Today, we're talking about his campaign. Thanks for being with us, Ed. Thank you. Your campaign is one where you are not just expressing your desire to have marijuana legalized, but for you, this is really a First Amendment issue. You're running in the 3rd District, which represents parts of Burlington, Ocean, and Camden Counties. Why are you running now? Well, I'm running really just to express, again, that marijuana should be legal, uh, but it's more, it's become a free speech argument for me. It's more of a protest about free speech. I've been imprisoned here in the state of New Jersey for five months uh, in 2000 because I made commercials advocating the legalization of marijuana and then the war on drugs. Why are you pushing for the legalization of marijuana? Well, I think marijuana is okay. It's just illegal. We need to take that illegality out of it. Uh, marijuana is good. It's not bad. It's not evil. The government lies about marijuana exactly like the government has lied about weapons of mass destruction. So you're saying that the legalization of marijuana would be an okay thing, but what about for those who argue that marijuana can lead to other destruction, it can it impair your judgment, for example, if you're driving? Well, they can make laws about driving, just like they make laws about driving and using alcohol. It's the simple possession. If I want to come home and smoke a joint or smoke a joint like I did on the way here, I should be allowed to. Let's talk about the fact that people have said that marijuana is a gateway drug. It can lead that's to a, the a, use of other drugs. That's a myth that's been debunked so many times it's not even believable. Experts don't even mention that anymore. So your campaign, you're basing it on the legalization of marijuana, but for you at this point, because you have run for office in the past, it's about free speech now. Yes, my, this campaign is really a protest to me and I want people to join in my protest. Uh, and basically, uh, I'm protesting the, the war on drugs. I'm protesting actually the war in Iraq too, but I'm protesting the war on drugs. And um, you know, anyone who can, all they have to do is vote for me and that would be helping me in my protest. I mean, I've been jailed for saying legalized marijuana. My child's name was changed because of my public political views. Uh, I've lost visitation for saying legalized marijuana. In fact, I've been denied the right to change my name to njweedman.com because I'm expressing a uh, political opinion that's unpopular in this so-called free society. Do you really feel as if your First Amendment rights have been denied? I've habitually been denied my First Amendment rights by the government. The, the state of New Jersey's court system is corrupt. The state, uh, uh, you can look at several of my cases and find out. In fact, today I actually won a case that I was surprised that I won. Uh, I beat the state of New Jersey today or last week over DNA samples, which again, I believe the DNA, the DNA law is a violation of uh, privacy rights and it's just unconstitutional. In this particular case, I won, but most of the time, my free speech and First Amendment cases, I lose because the judges are corrupt. They're more, uh, more concerned with upholding the policies of this country, like our drug laws, instead of the constitution of this country. So if you were elected, how would you fight that system as you see it? Well, I don't, I'm not that high. I don't believe I'm going to win. This is, again, is a protest. I just want, I want, I'm reaching out to the potheads. I'm reaching out to, to the brothers, the sisters, the cousins of potheads. I'm reaching out to people who think that marijuana should be legal, the drug laws are wrong, and believe in free speech. I'm reaching out to them and just asking them to vote for me and support my protest of government policies. This is a free speech candidate. I'm a free speech candidate and it's a free speech protest. All right. Thanks so much, Ed. Thank you. Good luck to you. Good luck to you. Thanks for watching. We've been talking with Edward Fortione, U.S. Uh, Marijuana Party candidate for the United States Congress in New Jersey's 3rd Congressional District. This has been Comcast Newsmakers Campaign 2004. Remember to vote. Election Day is Tuesday, November 2nd.